No se le oye, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you today, good guys? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. I know. How are you today, guys? This day has been uh, too hot, teacher. Okay, this day has been too hot, you are right. Yes. I sweat every moment. Okay. And for your city like this? Um, it is hot, it is hot right now, it is too hot here. Okay. Okay, do you have any questions regarding the platform exercises? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta acerca de la sección 4? De la sección número 4 que tenía que estar terminada para el día de hoy. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? ¿Tuvieron algún problema con algún ejercicio? No, teacher. Lo único que este, cuando yo terminé todas las evaluaciones... No me daba el 100, siempre me aparecía el 99.9, creo yo, o algo así. Debe de haber algún ejercicio que todavía no, no ha completado. Mm. Probablemente por eso sea, o ya le aparecen en verde toditos. Ya me aparecían en verde, eso fue lo que me extrañó. Vale, cuando usted abre su plataforma... Vamos a compartir la pantalla. Me avisan si pueden verla, por favor. Can you, can you see my screen? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. okay. When you have already completed one of the section, you are going to see this, this green check. ¿Les aparece así a ustedes? Yes, yes. yes okay. it means that you have uh, complete the whole exercises. So section one has been ended with 100%. Significa que la sección uno ha sido completada al 100%. Eso es lo que significa este cheque que está acá. En mi caso, en la sección cuatro y cinco, ¿verdad? hay algún ejercicio que me hace falta. Por esa razón... No me aparece, ¿verdad? Completada. Imagino que ha de, ha de ser un ejercicio, ¿verdad? El que está malo, solo tiene que ir a la sección y revisar, ¿verdad? Cada uno de los, de las, de los temas, ¿verdad? Y a ver cuál es el ejercicio que hace falta. Va chequeando cada una de las evaluaciones para ver dónde está el que hace falta para que le marque el 100%, que ya completó el 100%. Let me see what is my problem. Perdone, perdone teacher, la interrupción. Este, por ejemplo, en la, en, la, en, la, en la barra que aparece eh, arriba, donde se verifica eh, la, la, el ejercicio, el video, ahí hay un, hay un cuadrito también como de película ahí se ve que usted no lo ha revisado, entonces eso afecta a veces en la calificación que es como quien no lo ha visto, en el siguiente teacher en el ah, cuadrito okay. como de película en, ¿En ahí, este de acá? ahí le falta el check, el check. entonces a veces uh -huh, se ve que no, le ha, no lo ha revisado usted verdad, entonces no le marca por eso la calificación ah, okay. compañero quizás, no sé, el error Algún video le hizo falta ver. Sí, eso sí es cierto. Es probable que alguno de esos me haga falta. Ok. Excelente. ¿Do you have any other question? ¿Tienen alguna otra pregunta? Bueno, si no hay preguntas, sí. vamos. Ok. Para el día de hoy teníamos que haber terminado esta sección, ¿verdad? La sección número cuatro. Y en el resto de la semana tenemos que terminar la sección número 5. 
Bueno, espero que ya hayan pasado por todos estos ejercicios, ¿verdad? Que hayan visto este video de Food Pyramid. Um, ya la estudiamos, ¿verdad? En clase ya vimos este tema. We have already studied this topic. Eh, here is the other objective, 4.2. And count and no count nouns, nombres contables y nombres no contables, and also some and any. We have already studied these topics too. Ya estudiamos estos temas, ¿verdad? Pero aquí están estos videos, ¿verdad? En caso de que no haya terminado la sección 4 y todavía tenga dudas, recuerde que puede utilizar los videos explicativos que están acá dentro de la plataforma. Y después acá están los ejercicios, ¿verdad? Donde tiene que completar en el ejercicio 4.4, 4.4, you have to do this, right? Complete the conversation with some or any. Have you already completed this exercise? ¿Ya todos completaron este ejercicio? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. yes I yes. do. Okay, perfect then. Congratulations. Then we have this other topic here. Uh, Common breakfast foods in different countries in this conversation practice, right? You are going to find this information here in this video. And then you have this other topic here, adverb of frequency. También ya los vimos, ¿verdad? Los adverbios de frecuencia. Do you have any doubt, any question about this topic? Adverb of frequency, adverbios de frecuencia. Do you have any question? No, teacher. No question. Okay, can you tell me what are what are what are is an adverb of frequency? ¿Cuáles son algunos adverbios de frecuencia? Can you tell me? Always, often, sometimes, always, rarely, usually, usually, usually. never, never. Seldom, hardly ever. Okay, excellent. Okay, do you remember the adverb frequency? Okay, then you have this exercise, exercise 4.9. The instructions unscramble the sentence with each sentence in the correct order. So, hay que ordenar ¿verdad? las oraciones, las palabras, para escribir oraciones en el orden correcto. Okay, and here are the exercises. So, do you have any problem with this exercise? Alguien tuvo problemas? No, con I don't. Ejercicio? No, no. Questions? No, no, okay. Bueno, espero que ya lo hayan todos completado. Y si no, pues tienen el resto de la noche. No, no es cierto, pueden hacerlo mañana. Eh, let's go with this. Después tenemos el último objetivo que es this one, right? About a special food, develop the skill in scanning and reading for detail. And you have this exercise. We studied this last night. We studied this topic, eating for a good look. So here you have this, right? You have to choose the correct word to complete the sentences. The instruction says here, Read the article, then select the word that completes its sentence correctly. Lea el artículo y después seleccione la palabra que complete cada una de las oraciones correctamente. Y esos son los ejercicios que tiene que completar para terminar la sección 4 satisfactoriamente con un 100%. Bueno, do you have any question regarding this section? No, I don't. No questions? No questions. Okay. Please. Can you please raise your hand if you no, have teacher. already finished this section? Pueden levantar sus manos si ya terminaron esa sección. And say with me, I have already did it. I have already done it. Can you please say with me that sentence? I have already done it. Yo ya lo he hecho. I have already done it. Okay, excellent. I have already done. I have already done. Okay, excellent. I have already done it. Okay, now let's see. I can see some, some hands, some hands up. So, Maria Consuelo, what is your question?
María Consuelo? No, teacher, estaba levantando la manito que ya había finalizado. Ah, ok, <risa> excelente. Congratulations. Then. Ok, ok. Congratulations for the ones who has already finished uh, section four in the whole platform. Right? Um, we can finish the platform on this week. En esta semana tenemos que terminar esa plataforma. ¿verdad? Si todavía les hace falta, vamos, todavía es martes, ¿verdad? Today is Tuesday. Tuesday. We have Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to finish, right? And the weekend too, right? El fin de semana también. Okay, today we're going to start in section number five. If you don't have any questions, we can already start. No more questions, no more doubts. No, no teach. Okay, excellent. Eh? You are great students, right? And you can solve every exercise. And let's go with this topic then. Today we're going to talk about sports. Sports, do you like sports? Do you like sports? No, I don't. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, which sports do you like? ¿Cuáles deportes le gustan? Which sport do you like? Um, I like soccer. Bicycle. Okay, soccer, riding a bicycle, or cycling, cycling, basketball, baseball, baseball. Which other Bing. one do you like? I like soccer. Soccer, okay. You say I so like softball. Oh, softball. Softball, yes, it is for, for women, right? For men, it is called baseball. Baseball. Uh, any other sport? Soccer, cycling, basketball, baseball, softball. Any other sport that you like? Mm, can you please repeat, Catherine? Football. Um, I don't really understand what the term. Kitball. Ah, okay. Football, you say football. Ah, okay. Football, really? Okay, it's the first, it's the first time I heard about that. Swimming. Oh, swimming. Swimming. Do you like swimming? Do you like swimming? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, okay. yes, I do. Okay, now the other question. Can you swim? Yes. Can, yes, can I do. you swim? Yes, yes. No. Yes, I can. Yes, I can or no, I can? No, I can. No, I can. No, I can. Ah, okay. Uh, what about soccer? Can you yes, play soccer? I can. can you play yes, soccer? I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay, um, can you play tennis? I can. I can. Okay. I play basketball. Oh, you play basketball. Excellent. That is a nice sport. So we are going to learn some vocabulary about sports. Let me share my screen with you, the presentation for today. Okay, let me know if you can see my screen, please. Yes, 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 teacher. Yes. Class 12. Yes, today we're going to study class 12 and the topic for today is a sports, a sports season, sports season, deportes de temporada. You know that they, in the United States, they have, they have four seasons. Ellos tienen cuatro estaciones del año. ¿Quién sabe cuáles son? Spring, summer, fall, autumn, and winter. Okay, excellent. Spring, summer, winter, fall. and autumn. Autumn o fall. Autumn o fall. Así autumn. se conoce yeah. el otoño. Now, in El Salvador, how many seasons do we have? Two. Just two. Okay, we have just two. Just two seasons. 
Those season are. ¿Cuáles son esas estaciones? Winter is warm. Summer. Winter and yes. summer. Spring. Yes. Spring. Okay. So let's start with this sports, sports vocabulary. We are going to study this vocabulary right now. So we have this sport here, right? Football, basketball, cycling, swimming, tennis, skiing, volleyball, weightlifting, and car racing. ¿Hay alguno que usted no conozca? What is the meaning of these sports in Spanish? In weightlifting. Weightlifting es levantamiento de pesa. Weightlifting, levantamiento de pesa. Any other? In skin. Skin mm. es esquiar, esquiar, skin. Esquiar sobre la, sobre la nieve. Skin. Y también hay uno que es water skin, ¿verdad? Que esquían sobre el agua. So, fútbol, basketball, cycling, swimming, tennis, skiing, volleyball, weightlifting, and car racing. Um, do you like football? Yes, yes, I do. Yes, teacher. And what about basketball? Do you like basketball? Yes, yes, I yes. do. Yes, I, okay. yes, I like. Uh, do you go swimming? Yes, yes I do. Uh, do you play tennis? No, I no, don't. I don't. Um, no, I don't. Do you play volleyball? No, I don't. No, I don't. Uh, do you like weightlifting? No, no, I don't. <laughs> no, no, I don't. No, okay. What about car racing? Do you like car racing? No, I don't. I, yes, I like. Okay, excellent. So let's go with the other sport here. It's skateboarding, skating, surfing, table tennis, boxing, golf, soccer, and baseball. Um, do you know this vocabulary? Skateboarding, skating, surfing, table tennis, boxing, golf, soccer, and baseball. Teacher, soccer is the same to football. Um, it is different, right? Football, uh, it's American football. And soccer is uh, football, right? Lo que conocemos nosotros como fútbol. Soccer. Balompié. Y, yes, balompié. Right? Y el que decimos fútbol 11, ¿verdad? Son 11 jugadores per team. Y fútbol es el que juegan en los Estados Unidos, American Football. Que es con una pelota como ovalada, right? Yes. So it's different. Uh, what about skateboarding? What is skateboarding? Skateboarding. Do you have any idea what is skateboarding? Okay, skateboarding is patinaje, ¿verdad? Patinar con la tabla, con la tabla grande de patinar. En skating, skating es patinar, pero con patines, ¿verdad? Individuales, uno en cada pie. Surfing, surfing, surfear, table tennis, tenis de mesa, boxing. Boxear, yes. Golf. 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 Soccer and baseball. In baseball. Okay. How often do you play soccer? How often do you play soccer? Um, sometimes. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Sometimes. 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 Never. Never. Okay, how often do you play baseball? How often do you play baseball? I never play baseball. Never? Never. Never, okay. And what about boxing? Do you like boxing? No. 
so much. No, I like. Yes, no, I do. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, don't. Violent. Okay, too much violence in boxing. Yes. It, it could be right, but they earn a lot of money, right? In every fighting. In cada pelea ganan mucho dinero. Right? They earn a lot of money in every fighting. Okay, get my second. We still have some other sport here. We have hiking, baseball, hockey, ice skating, climbing, diving, and karate. Hiking, baseball, hockey, ice skating, climbing, diving, and karate. So hiking, what is hiking? Do you have any idea what is hiking? What is the meaning of hiking in Spanish? Como caminar, como... Okay, go hiking, Ray. Es ir a una caminata. Bien. What about hockey? Okay. ¿Conocen ese juego? Do you know that sport? Yes. Yes, okay. Ice skating, ice skating. Patinaje en hielo. Excellent. Patinaje sobre hielo. Y climbing. What about climbing? Escalar. 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 Yes, escalar, right? And diving. Diving. Diving is go deep in the water, right? It go deep in the water with some oxygen. Diving. Bucear. Yes, that is diving. Bucear. In karate. I need to karate. Karate, verdad? Excellent. So let's see. Do you like hiking? Do you like yes. hiking? Yes. 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 I like hiking. Okay, now in, okay, on the chat, on the chat, can you please write what is your favorite sport? Can you please write what is your favorite sport? My favorite sport is football. Softball, okay, my favorite sport is softball. softball. Uh, okay, Miriam, do you have any question? teacher sorry my favorite um sport is swimming okay excellent my favorite sport is swimming okay and then here are some oscar baltasar say swimming ricardo de jesus say baseball martin my favorite sport is swimming ronald Soccer, Milagro, my favorite sport is football. My favorite sport is soccer, Luis Alonso. Maria, Maria Chorro, my favorite sports are basketball and volleyball. Okay, basketball and volleyball. Eh, Lorena Elizabeth, my favorite sport is softball. Okay. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Thank you for your participation. Okay, then let's see the next thing. Here are some other more. Michelle Hernandez say my favorite sport is football. Uh, Maybelline Vanessa, my favorite sport is soccer. Maurice, my favorite sport is car racing. Okay, car racing, it is an amazing sport. And dangerous too. Right? Okay, thank you guys. So it's for a season, right? As I said before, in the United States and also in Canada, they um they have a four season. And the four season are spring, summer, fall, and winter. And those are the four seasons. And they play some sports in every different season. They have some sports for every season. Let's see, for example, in the spring, people play golf, 
people play soccer right, in this season in spring. In the summer, people play baseball, people play tennis, people play volleyball, and people go swimming in the summer. In the fall, people play football, people go bike riding, and also people go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating and go skiing in the winter. So can you please read the sport the, in the US and Canada play in spring? Pueden leer esos deportes, please. Can you please read this sport? In the spring, we go play golf. Play golf. Play soccer. Okay. Play soccer. Okay. Can you please say the complete? Can you please say the complete sentence? In the spring, people play golf. In the spring, in the spring people play golf. In the spring, people play. Soccer. Okay. Excellent. Now let's go in the winter. Can you please read the sentence in the winter? In the winter, people play hockey. In the winter, people play basketball. In the winter, people go ice skating. In the winter, people go skiing. Skiing, excellent, thank you. What about in the fall? In the fall, people. In the fall, people play football. In the fall, people play football. Go bike racing. Okay, and the last one in the summer. In the summer, people. In the yeah. summer, people play baseball. Uh, baseball. baseball. In the, in the summer, in the people su play tennis. Play tennis. In the summer, play volleyball. Play volleyball. In the summer, people go swimming. Okay, thank you. Baseball, tennis, volleyball, and swimming, right? In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, and go swimming. And what about you? What sport do you play in summer, for example? What sport do you play in the summer? I play soccer. Okay. Can you please say, in the summer, I in play summer, soccer. I, I play, play soccer. swimming. Okay, excellent. In the summer, I play soccer. What was the other sentence? Can you please repeat? In the summer, I go swimming. Okay, in the summer, I go swimming. Excellent. Then let's see this. Let's practice this sentence. In the spring, I go hiking. In the summer, I go swimming. In the winter, I play tennis. In the fall, I play soccer. Now we in El Salvador, uh, we has, have two, two seasons. We have summer and winter. So which sports do you play and do you play in the summer or in the winter? En el chat. En el puede, ok, en el chat pueden escribir. Let's see, for example, in the winter I play. ¿Qué deporte juegan en el invierno? In the winter. I play. Let's see, for example, this, right? In the winter I play volleyball. What about you? What sports do you play in the winter? Write your sentence, write your sentence, please. In the winter, uh, I play tennis. Okay, excellent. In the winter, I play tennis. And Luis Alonso said, in the winter, I play soccer. Ricardo, in the winter, I play soccer. Okay, excellent. 
They both play soccer in the winter. Uh, Martin said, in the winter, I play basketball. Nice. In the winter, I play basketball. That is an excellent sentence. In the winter. Okay, and what about in the summer? Oh, here we have another sentence. Mercedes Elena Hernandez said, in the winter, I go hiking. Okay, excellent. In the, in the winter, I play soccer. Okay, Ronald, thank you. In the winter, I play soccer. And what about in the summer? What about in the summer? Which sports do you play in the summer? You say, for example, in the summer. Okay, like this one. In the summers, I do exercises. In the summers, I do exercises. En el verano, yo hago ejercicio. In the summer... In the summer, I go hiking, for example. Okay, Martin says, in the summers, I go swimming. Excellent, excellent sentence. Miriam Rocio, too, right? In the summers, I go swimming. Ronald Antonio, in the summers, I go hiking. Excellent. Ok, perfecto. So, de esa manera podemos escribir, ¿verdad? ¿Qué deporte hacemos o qué deporte jugamos en las diferentes estaciones del año? In the different season of the year. Eh, let's see. Let's see this, right? Um, hay tres verbos que utilizamos para hablar acerca de los deportes. There are three verbs that we are going to use to talk about sports, to speak about sports, eh, go, do, and play. We are going to use these three verbs, um, but what is, the, what is the difference between them? Go is used for activities in sports that end in ing. Vamos a utilizar go, el verbo go, con las actividades o deportes que terminan en ING, en ING. Let's see, for example, I go fishing. Look at this, fishing. This sports name ends in ING. I go fishing. I go running. I go running. This sport ends in ING. Then we are going to use go. Vamos a utilizar el verbo go para las actividades y deportes que terminen en ING. Like fishing and running. Do. Do is used with non team sport in which any, any equipment is not used. Examples. I do aerobics. I do exercise. I do karate. So look at this. Do lo vamos a utilizar con deportes que no tienen equipo, que no tienen equipo y que no necesitan any, any equipment, no necesitan ningún equipo. O ningún equipo se utiliza. Like, example, like for example, aerobics, exercise, and karate. Play, the verb play is used for team sports or sports that need objects such as a ball or a disc. El verbo play va a ser usado para los deportes que se juegan en equipo y para los deportes que necesitan objetos para jugarse, ¿verdad? como una pelota o un disco. Let's see these examples. I play chess. I play basketball. I play baseball. 
And that is the difference. Esa es la diferencia entre go, do, and play. So remember this, go is used for activities in the sport that end in ing. Do is used with non team sport in which any equipment is not used. Play is used for team sport or a sport that need object, such a ball or a disc. And now it's time for you to practice. Look at this. Okay, say sentences with the following sports. Let's see, for example, boggling. Which verse I'm going to use with boggling? Go, do, or play? Go. 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 Can you please I say go. the sentence? I go bowling. Okay, excellent. I go bowling. That is the correct sentence. I go bowling. The reason, because the sport bowling and in ing form. So, play, right? Okay, this is in an ing form, so bowling. And what is bowling? What is the meaning of bowling? Boliche, boliche. Okay, do you like bowling? Yes, I, yes, like. I do. Okay, yes, have, I you, do. have you ever played bowling? Yes. Yes. Have no. you ever gone bowling? Never. <laughs> okay. How often do you go bowling? How often never. do you go never. bowling? Never. I never. I, I never, never play. Never. I never go bowling. Okay. And what about basketball? Which bird are we going to use with basketball? I play, 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 play basketball. basketball. Okay, excellent. I play basketball. The reason is a team, right? It's a team, and also we use a ball. So basketball, play. And jogging, the next one, jogging. I do jogging. I, I go, go jogging. jogging. Okay, I go jogging. How I often? go jogging. How often do you go jogging? How often do you go jogging? I never. I never. Okay. I never go jogging. Go jogging. Okay. Con qué frecuencia va a trotar? Con qué frecuencia sale a trotar? Sometimes, usually, Sometimes. never. Sometimes. Always. I never, I never do that. Ah, okay. And now let's go with this athletics, athletics, athletismo. Do I, I do? I do. Okay. I do, I do athletics. athletics. Excellent. And what about tai chi? I do. I do. Tai chi. I do. Tai chi. I do tai chi. Okay, I excellent. I do tai chi. I, I do tai chi. And gymnastic. Gymnastics, gymnastics. I do, I do gymnastics. I do gymnastics. Okay, excellent. I do gymnastics. And what about judo? What about judo? I do judo. I do judo. Okay, and table tennis? I play, I play. I play. Table, table tennis. tennis. Table tennis. And board games. What about board games? I play board games. I play board games. Board that games. is the correct answer. I play board games. In soccer, what about soccer? I play soccer. 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 Excellent. Then we have this. I go bowling. I play basketball. I go jogging. I do athletics. I do tai chi. I do gymnastics. I do judo. I play table tennis, I play board games, and finally, I play soccer. Okay, excellent. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? No teacher. No questions? No, I no, don't yes. have question. Okay, don't no, forget I this then. Sure. Okay, simple person W question. Vamos a ver, do you remember the meaning of this word? 
¿Se acuerdan el significado de estas palabras? Let's see, for example, what. ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál? Ok. ¿Cuál o? ¿O qué? Ok. Esta palabra nos sirve para preguntar dos cosas. ¿Cuál o qué? ¿What? ¿En what about who? ¿Quién? 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 ¿En what about yeah. where? ¿Dónde? 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 Y la pregunta, how often? Cada cuánto. Cada, cada cuánto. ¿Qué con qué frecuencia, qué tan seguido. Eh, the next question, when? ¿Dónde? ¿Cuándo? 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 ¿Cuánd
con otras expresiones. And you can say, for example, how often do you practice? Uh, let's say soccer, right? How, uh, how often do you practice soccer? Or how often do you play soccer? How often do you play soccer? ¿Con qué frecuencia juega fútbol? Ah, entonces usted puede decir, yo juego todos los días, ¿verdad? Entonces sería, I play soccer every, every day. You can say that, right? I play soccer every day. O puede ser, I always play soccer. Pero en este caso podemos utilizar esta expresión también. I play soccer every day. Um, you can use also every month. Cada mes. You can say every, eh, every, every week. Cada, cada semana. Every week. O every year. O cada año. Si es diariamente, usted también puede utilizar la expresión daily. Daily. How often do you play soccer? Entonces usted también puede decir, I play soccer on Sundays. Ok. Um, ¿Cuándo juega fútbol? That is when the question. When do you, when do you play soccer? This is the question. When do you play soccer? So I play soccer. When? Cuando juegan fútbol generalmente. ¿Qué día se juega soccer generalmente en El Salvador? On Sundays. Okay, on Sundays. Right? I play soccer on Sundays. Entonces tenemos estas opciones para responder. How often do you play soccer? I play soccer every day, every month, every week, daily, once a day, once a week, once a month, or twice, right? Twice a week, dos veces en la semana, twice a month, dos veces en el mes. Do you have any question regarding this? Teacher, I, I, I can say... Uh, I play soccer once or twice a week. Yes, you can say, you can use that sentence. I play soccer once a, once a week, for example. Okay. Once a week. I play soccer once a week. Yo juego fútbol una vez a la semana. Any other question? Any other question? No question? Okay, let's continue then. Okay. Okay, then we're going to read this conversation. Can you please read this conversation? And it says, it's a conversation between Lauren and Justin. And it says, so Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorite. Wow, you are a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Okay, what are the sports in the conversation? What are the sports in the conversation? Soccer. Soccer. Hockey, okay. baseball, and soccer. Baseball and soccer. Okay, hockey, baseball, and soccer. Athlete. Okay, how often... Does Justin play this sport? Never. Never. Okay. Never. He, never. Okay. He never. He never, he never played this sport or he doesn't play this sport. Okay. 
Uh, what sports do you like? Is the equation here. What sport do you like? Now the question is for you. What sport do you like? ¿Qué deporte le gustan a ustedes? What sports do you like? I like. No, nah, ninguno, any. <laughs> okay. I like soccer. <laughs> and then the sentence is, I don't like any sport. I don't like it's any sport. sport. Okay. Uh, can you please repeat the other sentence? Um, ¿Quién dijo la, la siguiente oración después de Morris? Can you repeat, please? What sports do you like? That is the question. This is the question. What sports do you like? I like play, no, I like <laughs> basketball. I like basketball. Okay, excellent. I like basketball. Any other? I like soccer and basketball. Okay, thank you. I like soccer and basketball. Excellent. Any other? Any other student? I like tennis. I like tennis. Okay, thank you. Any other students? What sports do you like? I like hiking. I like hiking. Okay. Now, do you like to practice those sports or do you like watch them on television? Like Justin. Justin? Like Justin just in the watch, conversation. Just, uh, Justin just watch TV only. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and what about you? What about you? Do you like to practice these sports or do you like do you like to watch them on the television? I, I practice. I practice. practice. Ah, okay, sport. you you practice these sports. Okay, excellent. Okay. Now this is another question for you. What do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? ¿Qué hacen en su tiempo libre? What do you do in your free time? And you I say, work on my cell phone. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> I work on my cell phone. <laughs> okay. I work on my cell phone. <laughs> uh, any other students? Do you want I to watch, participate? watch movies. Ah, I watch movies. I watch TV. What do Don't you do in your free time? Uh, my Ah, okay. I download music. Okay. Yo descargo música. I download music. Excellent. And nobody plays sports in your free time. Nadie practica un deporte en el tiempo libre. I play soccer with my son. Ah, okay. Excellent. I play soccer with my son. Okay. Sometimes I play bicycle with my daughter. Ah, okay. Sometimes I go cycling with my daughter. I go cycling with my daughter. Okay. 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 Very good. Any other students? Any other opinion? Some. And what do you Time. do your free time? Sometimes I go. Can you please repeat, Miriam? Sometimes I go swimming. Okay, sometimes I go swimming. Okay, excellent. So you can swim very well. Can you swim very well? It's a good sport. Yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. Bueno, lástima por los que no podemos. En un charquito nos ahogamos. Pasa de agua. Okay, swimming. Yeah. That is a nice sport, right? Swimming. Yes. Okay. So let's see this. Okay, look at the picture and look say the, the sport picture. name. Say the sport name. Soccer. 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 Soccer, okay. Uh, can you please tell me a sentence? I go I play, play soccer. Play. Ah, okay. I play, I play soccer. I play soccer. Excellent. Let's see the next picture. 
What is the name of this I sport? Play, I play tennis. I play tennis. I play tennis. Oh. tennis. I play tennis. Look at the next one. I go I swimming. Go swimming. Go swimming. Go okay. Go Look. Swimming. He is medium friends, right? In Apollo Lake. Apollo <laughs> Lake. <laughs> Yes. Okay, uh, swimming, right? Swimming is the sport. So is I go swimming, I play swimming, or I do swimming. I go swimming. I go. I go. I go swimming. Okay. And what is the name? I play football. I play football. I play football. Football. Okay. The same instruction. Look at the picture and say the sport names. Look at this. Basketball. I play basketball. 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 I play basketball. basketball. Uh -huh. The next one. Uh -huh. I go. I go running. Okay. I go running. I go running. I go running. I go jogging. I go running or I go jogging. The next one. I go diving. I go hiking. What is what is I the name of that sport? Climbing. Climbing. Um, I say climbing. Climbing. Is it climbing or hiking? Climbing. 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 Okay, climbing. climbing. I go. I go climbing. climbing. Go. And what about the next one? I do aerobic. Ah, okay, do I, I do, do I do aerobics. aerobics? Aerobics, okay. Now can you climb trees? Can you climb trees? Pueden escalar árboles? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I can. No, I can't. I can't. No, I can't. No, I can't. Can. Oh, okay. Okay. Can you play basketball? Yes. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay. Um, let's see this. Can you play tennis? No, I don't. Okay. No, I can't. No, I can't. Can. 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 No, can. can. Okay, tomorrow we are going to study this, right? Abilities. What are your abilities? We are going to study that tomorrow. And we are going to study can. Can the auxiliary can. can. So can you play soccer? No, I can't. No, I can't. Oh, I can. Yes, I can. Y para decir en pasado, yo podía. I, <laughs> I could, I could play soccer. Ah, okay, gracias. Yo podía, I could play soccer. I could. Cool. Okay, what about swimming? Can you swim? Yes, I can. Yes, I do. Yes, I can. <laughs> no, I can't. No, I can't. I can't. Okay, do you have any question about today's class? No, yet. No, no yet. question. No question, teach. Okay, very good. So, what are the four seasons of the year? What summer? are the okay? Summer is one. Winter. Yes. Winter. Rainfall. Fall. 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 Autumn. Winter. Fall or spring. autumn and spring. spring. Excellent. Okay, in the United States and Canada, do you remember what the sport do they play in the different seasons? Let's see, for mm. example, in winter, winter in winter, people, do you remember what the sport do they play in winter? In winter, people. Ice. In winter, people play Ice. basketball. Play okay. Uh. In winter, people play basketball. Hockey. Uh, hockey. Okay. In winter, people play hockey. 
Okay, what about in summer? In Just say hockey, right? Hockey. Play in summer, people play. play. So, okay. okay, in summer. In summer people. In summer. summer people uh, swimming. Okay, in summer people go swimming. swimming. Okay, in summer people go swimming. Excellent. So I'm going to write this for here in Spanish. In please tell me in English. Okay, what about this one? How do you say that in English? Soccer. Soccer. Okay. What about this one? Swimming. 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 And this one? Running. Running. Okay, running. And this other one? Climbing. 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 And this one? Diving. Yeah. Diving, diving, diving. Okay. Diving, diving, diving. excellent. Uh, what about this one? Basketball. 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 Okay, basketball. Uh, baseball. What is baseball in Spanish? Be so. <laughs> <laughs> we use the same word, right? We use the same word, baseball. In English and in Spanish, we say baseball, right? We say baseball. Okay. Jugamos de batear, decimos aquí. Ah, okay. Yes, right. Jugamos de batear. Yo voy a ser mano, dicen. Okay. Eh, okay. Eh, también aprendimos el día de hoy estas palabras. What? Who? What is the meaning of what? When? ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál otra que vimos? Where. Where. Ok, where? excelente. Where. How often. Ah, ok. How often. How often. Ok, guys. Do you have any question? Question. No Do you have any question? No, no, no question, question today? No question. Ok. Okay, then tomorrow we're tomorrow we're going to learn about abilities, right? About abilities. Okay. What can you do? What can you do? Let's see, for example, we're going to discover if you can cook. Can you cook? Can you swim? Can you play soccer? Uh, okay. Can you sing? Pueden cantar. Alguien del grupo puede cantar. Can you sing? Yes, I can. Oh, really? Que nos, cante, que, nos, que nos cante una, ¿no? Que nos cante una, ¿no? O tomorrow, ¿no? Right? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Right now. No, it's okay. It's okay. What? What's on? Que salgan. Que salgan. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bueno, okay. entonces ha sido un gusto estar con ustedes. It has been a pleasure to be with you today. I hope you have learned a lot of things today. And tomorrow we are going to continue learning, right? I hope to see you at 9 okay. p.m., right? So okay, if you too. haven't finished, si todavía no ha terminado la plataforma, please do it, right? Do it, please, right? Hágalo, por favor. Si tiene alguna pregunta, puede escribir en el grupo. Estamos para servirle y para ayudarle. Cualquier pregunta. Okay. Si yo no puedo... Los compañeros siempre están pendientes, ¿verdad? Siempre hay alguien que ayuda. Y gracias por eso, ¿verdad? Una vez más. So, thank you for your participation. Thank you for your uh, attention. And for thank being you, here teacher. with me today. So, thank you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you too. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Have thank a good you, night. Good night. You're welcome. See you tomorrow. See you. See you bye tomorrow. bye. See you.